I'm Rosanna Crawford and I'm about to show you the 2.5 kilometer course here in Canmore, Alberta. Okay, here we go. We got our fans out already. Ah! Okay, so head on to the 2.5. We'll go right past the penalty loop here off the start. If we look up there, we have Grotto Mountain. And then, oh, here we have Sarah Beaudry. Say hi, Sarah. Right there is Lady Mac. These are some of our most climbed mountains around Canmore. So as we leave the stadium, Sarah's gonna show us how to take this corner. And up we go into the first climb. Canmore we have the artificial snow and it's really dry here so this will be a little bit different than what most of the Europeans see when they are back home but we usually get a nice corduroy if things freeze up it was minus 15 this morning, so a little chilly. Right here is where the two point, or no, the two kilometer goes. So that'll be used in the relay. So Canmore is one of the higher altitude venues that we'll visit. Um, people will be a bit used to it from coming from Anholtz, but here it's about, 1400 meters. That's why I'm breathing so hard. <laughs> so now we're going to head into the first downhill. Round and round we go. Under the bridge and the 3.3 comes over that bridge. Part of the winter race course is the same as our roller ski loop in the summer. So right now, this next 500 meters or so, it's the same that we ski over and over and over again in the summer. If you look right there, we have Ha Ling Peak. And then that one is Eeyore, the east end of Rundle. Now we climb back up to the stadium. To my left is the wax tax area. But when it's not being used for that, it's a toboggan hill that people come out and use. Oh, mind the chainsaws. We've got our amazing volunteers. Wait, volunteers! So head over the bridge. The range over there. The VIP tent and the stands. Up to the left is the cross country courses used for the World Cup. This 2.5 definitely isn't one of the harder ones on the World Cup circuit, but the altitude and the potential for cold weather 
can play it faster. Down there is where the mass start area will be for Saturday and Sunday's races. Here we go into the next big long downhill. The 3.3 goes straight. So we'll take a turn. And then we head into what we call the camel bumps because they look like camel bumps as we go back towards the range. This is when you'll start to ease off as you head into the range a bit. To the right will be the finishing stretch. Who will go into the range. There's my technique coach, Kathy. Wave, Kathy. And we head into the range. Everyone's getting started for the day's training. Our beautiful blue and purple. We'll go by the Canadian team. Say hi. So after shooting, you'll head out back on course. And voila, the 2.5. I'll take a sharp turn and show you the finishing stretch. There's the starting gate. And then instead of going into the range, you'll turn and come into the finish. Make sure to do your finishing lunge. There goes Kaiza. Hi Kaiza. 